Hello everyone, welcome to Augment Tech. We coach engineering students and working professionals for better career opportunities. Today we'll learn about the working of desert cooler, also known as evaporative cooler. So let's start. This process can be used in hot and dry climate due to its lesser cost. In simple word, this is a process where temperature of air is decreased but its humidity is increased. It is based on the principle that water absorbs heat from itself and surrounding air to vaporize, thereby cooling both the air and water. In psychometric chart, let's say the initial stage of air is state 1. After getting evaporative cooled, the final state is obtained as state 2. So this is the state 1 of air. When this air is fed in an evaporative cooler, the evaporative cooler has some water on its base which is driven by pump. This water is sprinkled in the entire volume of this evaporative cooler. When air passes through it, it gets cooled as well as its humidity increases. As the process continues, the level of water in the tank decreases. To make this up, there is some extra water added at regular intervals. Finally, on getting cooled and moisture rich, the air leaves the evaporative cooler. It is important to note that the amount of moisture in the entering air and leaving air are different. The air has now more moisture content. So the air is humidified. The final values of thermodynamic properties are T2 and W2. Note that in this entire process, the enthalpy remains the same because there is no heating or cooling from any cooling or heating coil. Also, the wet bulb temperature remains the same. So this is the process of evaporative cooling. Continuously learn from us. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Thank you and see you again.